Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I can't wait to show you my project for today. Stampin' Up! released a catalog in June. Um, it's called our Annual Catalog, and we have loved this catalog so much. There are so many great things in this, and I'm excited we get it for a full year to show you all of the great things. I love our selection of designer series paper. And so that's what started my inspiration for my projects today. I found the Playing With Patterns 6x6 Designer Series Paper Set. It's shown right here on page 149 of the catalog. Um, we have a great layout of all of our Designer Series Paper here in the catalog. One thing I love, love, love is that Stampin' Up! has done this amazing job for us of coordinating colors. So they give us a list at the bottom of each of the papers that show us what colors they've used in that designer series paper. The one that I loved was this, the Playing With Patterns. It comes in six by six size, so it's already cut down for your smaller cards that you wanna do or your projects. And it has these beautiful colors in kind of a watercolor fashion on one side. And on the other side, all of our designer series papers are double-sided. So on the other side, we get a chance to use more patterns that are maybe a little bit more symmetrical than watercolory. And these colors are just beautiful in, these, in this paper. And that's what inspired me to, to make the projects I made today. I wanted to focus on birthdays. I love having birthday projects packaging ideas, cards, whatever, made up so that I can grab them very quickly when someone's birthday comes up. I love this stamp set from the minute I saw it in the catalog this year. It's happiest of birthdays. It only has four stamps in the whole stamp set, but they're all a little bit different. Um, different fonts, different sayings, different sizes. So what I feel is a really good value about this stamp set is there's so many different ways you can use one stamp set for all the birthdays that you need. Really, really cute. This comes in cling, so it's a red stamp set. It's not a full of photopolymer, so you can see through. So I paired this stamp set with this paper, and then I loved that the rectangle stitched dies worked with each one of these sentiments. I was able to cut them out from the designer series paper straight through because it's not a photopolymer stamp set. I didn't need to be super conscious of where I was stamping and I could cut them out. So let me show you the projects I've made so all of this will make a little bit more sense. So the first one I started with was this really, really cute little cello bag. Um, I used wishing you the happiest of birthdays. I thought that was really cute. Cut out really well with that rectangle die. And then I just put a little piece of paper in the cello bag so that it gives it a little bit more of a pop of color. And the great thing about this is I stamped directly on the designer series paper. I embossed it with white embossing powder and then cut it out. So all I did was emboss this and then I just assembled it and put it together. The paper does all of the work for me in this case. It looks like I watercolored the background when in reality it was so easy for me. Such a fun, quick idea. My second project I wanted to do features this really, really cute new packaging idea we have of a mini paper pumpkin box. So if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, our monthly card kit that comes in the mail, we have paper pumpkin boxes, which we use all the time for different things. This one's just the cutest little size. It's just so cute. It's food safe, so you can use it for different things. And it's not too big, it's not too little. It's just so cute. So I just decorated the sides with some of that designer series paper from the Playful Patterns, stamped happy little bit late birthday. This looks like I watercolored the background in an ombre fashion. But I actually stamped it on this piece of designer series paper and just cut it out using that rectangle die. So easy. And then I just backed it on some more designer series paper, used a little bit of cute ribbon that coordinates with this paper and put some paper on the box. Really, really, really simple. So simple, but it looks so cute and so nice to have on hand. So fun. I wanted to do my next one a little bit fancier. I love these gold pizza boxes. I think they're so cute, so fancy. So I made a little belly band that slides on 
and I stamped It's Your Day, Enjoy It, which actually could be birthday or it could be for something else, any other type of celebration. And I just put that on there, cut it out with the rectangle die, trimmed the edge to make a little bit of a banner there, and then added some glitz. And I thought that was so cute, so simple. These boxes also are food safe. They fit a little cookie or any really, any little treat you wanna put in there. But the gold just kind of gives it a little bit more of a glam, and I love that. That was a really fun one. And again, just stamp that directly on the designer series paper and cut it out. I didn't have to stamp the background. The paper did all of the work for me. My last one, I love, I love these little acetate boxes. These are new this year as well. It's a three and an eighth by three and an eighth size box. So if you have little three by three inch cards, you can also put them in there. But I use the Happy Bee Day. Just stamp that again on designer series paper, cut it out with the rectangle die. And then I took little scraps of the DSP and accordion folded them so that they've, I've got little shreddies in there that coordinate with the colors. Easy, it took me, maybe, this probably took me the most time out of all my projects because I just had to fold it, but I could do it easy and quick while I was just watching a show on TV. It was really, really nice. You could put little treats in there for somebody too. So I hope you have loved these packaging ideas for birthdays or for other big occasions in people's lives. I love to have these on hand and this Happiest of Birthdays stamp set was a great stamp set to use for these projects, but any sentiment stamp set I think would work really well for the packaging that Stampin' Up! offers. Don't forget about the technique of stamping directly onto our designer series paper and cutting it out. It does so much of the work for you. It's just quick to put them together and they look beautiful and dynamic. You can coordinate the products. It's really, really fun. I hope you've enjoyed these projects. If you have any questions, please let us know. We would love to help you out. You can ask here in the comments on YouTube or you can also contact us through our blog at stampingjill.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week on another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.